state elections are changing in the city of Charleston, but voters won't notice a difference. The city has disbanded its municipal elections commission, officially passing all control to the county. Claire Weber spoke with both city and county officials on why the change comes now. Claire? Tessa, the county's Board of Elections has already been running the city's races, but it was the city commissioners who would certify the results. After a city council vote last Tuesday, the county will now do it all. We don't have capacity to do this, nor is it an effective use of our time when the county already does such a great job. The city of Charleston has joined the long list of municipalities whose elections are controlled by Charleston County. It was an administrative move to make things more uniform, but election workers say the change won't be felt by voters. The same professionalism, the same equipment, the same uh, mechanisms by which people would early vote or cast an absentee ballot, vote on election day, polling places, all of that uh, does not change. It stays the same. If the city voted against passing full control to the county, it would have to create its own elections department. This costly move is something Mayor William Cogswell's administration says would take away from his other priorities. An elections department. Um, just in terms of operation is going to be around $2.3 million. Um, this staffing and operations of that, not to mention the extra equipment that we'd have to get, probably run north of that. But the vote was not unanimous. Carl Brady is one of the two city council members who voted against the change. He fears it could make elections unnecessarily partisan. I feel like it's injecting partisan politics into a nonpartisan race uh, or races and um, you know, that's what we try and avoid. There's no Republican or Democratic way to fix a pothole, as I like to say. And so keeping things as nonpartisan as we can, um, this felt like a move in the wrong direction. But county officials emphasize this won't happen. I want to make it very clear that the, the Charleston County Board of Voter Registration and Elections is an appointed board. They are all nonpartisan. We don't we don't register by party in South Carolina. The delegation appoints just like the city council points. The first city of Charleston elections where this change will be in effect isn't until November 2025. Working for you, Claire Weber, News 4.